Hello all, in this video, I will solve few problems on integrator and differentiator circuit. First, I am going to consider integrator circuit. In this circuit, the output voltage is the integration of the input voltage. This is the circuit diagram representation of an integrator circuit where the capacitor is used as a feedback here. And the input is applied to the inverting terminal through resistor R1. And the non-inverting terminal is grounded. The output voltage expression for this integrated circuit is given by this expression. By looking at this expression, you can easily say that the output voltage is the integration of the input voltage. Where V0 of 0 indicates the initial voltage, initial output voltage. And uh, the product R1 into Cf represents the time constant of the integration. Similarly, let us consider differentiator. In this circuit, the output voltage is the differentiation of the input voltage. This is the circuit diagram representation of differentiator where the resistor is used as a feedback and the input voltage V in is applied to the inverting terminal through capacitor C1 and the non-inverting terminal is grounded. This is the output voltage expression for the differentiator and you can easily say that the output voltage is the differentiation of the input voltage and this negative sign indicates the output will be inverted since we are applying input to the inverting terminal and here C1 into RF represents the time constant of the differentiator. Now let us solve few problems related to this are uh, related to integrator and differentiator. Now let us solve the first problem. A sinusoidal signal with peak value 6 millivolts and of 2 kilohertz frequency is applied to the input of an ideal op-amp integrator with R1 is equals to 100 kilo ohm and CF is equals to 1 microfarad. Find the output voltage. So here we need to calculate the output voltage for the values R1 is equals to 100 kilo ohm and CF is equals to 1 microfarad. And they have said this is an integrator circuit. We know that the output voltage expression for the integrator circuit is equals to V0 is equals to minus 1 divided by R1 into CF integration from 0 to T V in into DT plus V0 of 0. This is the initial output voltage. Since they have said ideally, ideal output integrate open integrator the initial voltage will be zero so we need to represent v in now so v in is equal to they have said that the amplitude is 6 millivolts i am going to write 6 into 10 to the power of minus 3 and they have said they use sinusoidal signal they applied sinusoidal signal as the input so i am going to write sin sin so the frequency they have given is f is equal to 2 kilohertz then so I am going to write here omega t so we know that omega represents the angle of frequency so omega is equals to 2 pi f so now f is equals to 2 kilo so 2 pi into 2 into 10 to the power of 3 so if uh, if I multiply I am going to get 4000 pi t radians per second i am going to substitute omega here so v in will be equals to 6 into 10 to the power of minus 3 sin 4000 pi t volts this is the input voltage applied and we need to calculate the output voltage for this input so now v naught will be equals to minus the given R1 100 into 10 to the power of 3 into CF 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6 integration from 0 to T 6 into 10 to the power of minus 3 sin 4000 pi T into 
dt so which will be equals to i'm going to take the constant to the outside of the integration which is minus 6 into 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by 100 into so 10 to the power of minus 3 into 10 to the power of plus 3 will become 10 to the power of minus 3 10 to the power of minus 3 minus 3 it cancels so here sine 4000 phi t into dt we know that the integration of sine a t will be equal to minus cos a t divided by a so i am going to write the minus and minus will become plus so i am going to write um, plus 6 divided by 100 so cos 4000 pi t divided by 4000 pi the limits from 0 to t so here this will be reduced to 6 divided by 100 into 4000 pi cos 4000 pi t the limits from 0 to t so if i solve this one i'm going to get into 10 to the power of minus 3 in place of t if i substitute t i'm going to get the same thing that is cos 4000 pi t and in place of t if i substitute lower limit lower limit in place of t if i substitute 0 i am going to get cos 0 cos 0 will be equals to 1 so this is the output voltage for the given input v in is equal to 6 into 10 to the power of minus 3 sin 4000 pi t so this is the solution to this problem yes, sorry i forgot to write pi here it should be pi now let us solve another problem the input of a basic differentiator circuit is a sinusoidal voltage of peak value of 10 millivolts and frequency 1.5 kilohertz find the output if rf is equals to 100 kilo ohm and c1 is equals to 1 microfarad so let us write the input voltage v is equals to the amplitude 10 into 10 to the power of minus 3 sin they have said sinusoidal voltage omega t so in order to find the omega value omega is equals to 2 pi f if they have given 1.5 kilo so 2 pi into 1.5 into 10 to the power of 3 if i solve i am going to get 3000 pi i am going to substitute here so v will be 10 into 10 to the power of minus 3 sin 3000 pi t and they have given rf and c1 value now let us calculate v out since it is a differentiator circuit the output voltage expression for the differentiator circuit is given by v0 is equals to minus c1 into rf into dv in divided by dt which will be equals to what is c1 that is 1 micro so minus 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6 what is rf 100 kilo 100 into 10 to the power of 3 next d divided by dt v in is 10 into 10 to the power of minus 3 sin 3000 pi t so next i am going to take uh, the constant 10 into 10 to the power of minus 3 outside so the it will be it reduces to minus so 10 to the power of minus 6 and 10 to the power of 3 it will be 10 to the power of minus 3 so i am going to write minus 100 into 10 to the power of minus 3 into 10 into 10 to the power of minus 3 
differentiation of sin 3000 pi t now if i solve this one i'm going to get um this one will be 10 to the power of plus 3 and 10 to the power of minus 3 get cancels the remaining will be minus 10 to the power of minus 3 so the differentiation of sin at will be equals to a into cos at so similarly i'm going to write the constant is 3000 pi i'm going to write 3000 pi into cos of 3000 pi t so here i'm going to write this one as minus 10 into 10 to the power of minus 3 plus 3 into 10 to the power of plus 3 pi into cos 3000 pi t okay here 10 to the power of minus 3 and 10 to the plus 3 get cancels the remaining will be minus 3 pi cos 3000 pi t this is the output voltage for the given input v is equals to 10 into 10 to the power of minus 3 sin 3000 pi t that's all about this problem let's solve another problem if the circuit shown in figure the input is a step or a dc voltage as shown in the figure determine the output voltage and sketch it assume that the initial voltage across the capacitor is zero and the time constant r1 into cf is equals to one second so, so that you can easily identify that this one is the integrator circuit and the input applied is step or dc voltage you can see that uh, the output voltage is 3 uh, for the interval from 0 to 5 seconds so that is time in seconds now uh, let us write the output equation for this integrated circuit that is v0 is equals to minus 1 divided by r1 into cf integration from 0 to t v in into dt plus v0 of 0 and they have said that the initial voltage across the capacitor is 0 so it will be 0 and c1 into and r1 into cf is equals to 1 second if I substitute here 1, so obviously it will become 1 my, uh, one divided by 1, it will be 1 again. That is from 0 to t, v in into dt. Now let us write the v in value. So here the v in will be 3, the voltage will be v in will be 3 for the interval from 0 to 5. So I am going to write 0 to 5, now, v in will be 3 into dt. If I integrate that one, I am going to get minus 3t into uh, minus 3t limit from 0 to 5. Now, at time t is equals to 0, I am going to get v out is equals to minus 3 into 0, which will be equals to 0 volts. Next, at time t is equals to 5 the output voltage v naught will be equals to minus 3 into 5 that is equals to minus 15 volts if i sketch the output waveform we are going to get like this so at time t is equals to 0 the output voltage is 0 at time t is equals to 5 the output voltage is minus 15 so it is like a negative slope v naught is equals to minus 3t volts so this signal is known as ram signal this is the solution to this problem thank you all for watching this video